Your fourth album, Faded Gloryville, it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand this is kind of an imaginary showbiz wasteland that you've dreamed up. Why don't you tell me <laughs> a bit about Faded Gloryville? Um, well, I was watching the movie Crazy Heart with Jeff Bridges, and um, I think when you are watching it from a musician's standpoint, um, a lot of us might ask our- ourselves if we would end up like him. And he was sort of in this bowling alley, and he didn't have ten dollars to his name, and he wouldn't, he couldn't get a free drink, you know, for his performance, and hassling his manager to try and get him some better gigs. And and so I, I wondered if I would be like that too. And it made me think back to when I first started in this business and sort of these really big um, romantic ideals of what the music business was and um, and these big dreams that I had and realizing along the way that reality kind of hits like a ton of bricks and you have to make a decision whether you're going to get buried by a ton of bricks or if you're going to build something from it and I felt like Faded Gloryville was this place that everybody with the big dream that doesn't quite turn out the way that they had imagined in their ideal world in their mind um, would would visit from time to time and maybe they visit once maybe they visit there time and time again um, but it's always sort of like what you can learn from there and how it can help you move on or um, some people just take up house and hang out there and become jaded. <laughs> you want to play? Are you going to play us a Bee Gees cover? Is I this am. What's happening now? All right, let's do it.
smashing.